For more than 60 years, Chemtrol has been the solution you need for reliable flow control products in tough industrial environments. This video shows you how to use the Weedos 3511 machine to join Chemtrol polypropylene and PVDF pipe and fittings using socket heat fusion. Before beginning, view the installation instructions found in the Chemtrol thermoplastic piping technical manual. Only the heater face sets sold by Chemtrol are acceptable for use with Chemtrol pressure pipe and fittings. Following the time and temperature chart published in the Chemtrol technical manual, set the temperature on the heating element and set the appropriate time in the timer. Set the dial on the front of the machine for the appropriate pipe. Bevel the outside diameter of your pipe and use a dry rag to clean the pipe and fitting. To set the zero position for the pipe, twist and release the knob on the fitting side of the machine and turn the hand wheel clockwise until the sled stops. Lock the set screw. Align your pipe to the entry of the fitting and tighten down the pipe clamps. To monitor slipping of the pipe, use a marker to put a line next to each pipe clamp. Using the depth gauge, mark the socket depth on the pipe. Spray heater faces with a small amount of silicone spray. Pull down the heating element and set the alignment of the heater faces with your pipe and fittings. Turn hand wheel clockwise with a continuous motion and watch the fitting move onto the male heater face. Do not force the fitting onto the heater face. It should melt on by applying consistent pressure to the hand wheel. Be sure not to crush the material bead against the heater face. Once the fitting is fully seated on the heater face, start the timer. When the timer beeps, turn the hand wheel counterclockwise until the sleds are fully open and push back the heating element. Turn the hand wheel clockwise until the pipe is fully inserted in the fitting socket. Lock the set screw and wait 30 seconds for the fusion joint to cool before releasing the set screw.